Hey everyone, I wanted to introduce you to a young dynamic guy, Serge Lepescu. Um, he's in the assisted living syndication arena, franchising, um, a lot more things. I, I think I'll let him explain because you know I, I might not be doing a good job there. So Serge, could you like introduce yourself? What do you do and where you came from and what do you do now? Yeah, long story short, um, in the assisted living space, like you mentioned, um, I'm an owner operator myself but then I'm also in the real estate portion of it where I have a syndication group and we raise capital uh, and we purchase these existing facilities and we lease them back out to operators. And then I'm also a content creator, got my whole channel in regards to this whole industry. Um, that's just my name, Serge Lepescu is the channel. And I talk literally about all that. And then from there, I'm a consultant as well. And with helping operators get started in these homes and getting these business profitable and running smoothly. That's kind of the gist of it. So, and then where I come from, uh, I'm a nurse. Uh, that's what I uh, majored in. And for me, I just thought this would be a great opportunity for me to utilize my degree to get into my own business. Awesome. Very neat. What he didn't explain there is how, how, how soon he got into business. Like it's like four years ago, soon as he graduated. So he's not too old. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure you can see that from his face, but you know, it's like 25 or 24 now. Sure. I'm 25. I started in 2018. So I graduated December of 2017 and started my business in 2018. Awesome. So there you go. So with that, Serge, I, obviously there are two different kind of people you can help, seems like, right? Um, so could you tell us like who you're looking to connect and who can you help and who should reach out to you to either connect or maybe seek help? Yeah, so there's actually three categories of people that I could essentially help with what I'm doing currently. So there's the passive investing portion right? Anyone who's looking to passively invest in any of our deals. Uh, that's one way we are currently putting a website together for all three of these categories. So that should be up and running within like the next few weeks. Uh, that way they can go there and connect with me once that's finally launched. Uh, second group of people would be people who want to be an operator in this business or are currently an operator and want to continue expanding their business. So they want us to purchase the real estate. They can lease it from us, make it a lot easier for them to be able to expand their business. And then the third types of people are the ones that are currently have some form of real estate that they want to offload, right? Or they want to currently get out of some operations. Uh, that's the third group of people that I can help as well. So if they have friends or family or contacts who have these facilities and they can be, they can range from residential assisted living to kind of your, pocket communities is what I like to call them. So like uh, they, they got like multiple homes within a community. Um, so 30, 40, 50, 60 bed locations and, and bigger, just all depends on what's available. Gotcha. Is that all over US or are you looking at specific markets? Uh, all over the US, um, just depends. I mean, it, it all, all matters of it's kind of just a puzzle, right? So it's a matter of getting the operators to line up with the properties that we currently have available and making sure it's within the markets that we want to get into. So, Awesome. So, uh, so anyone out there interested in the assisted living space, either investing or running their own thing, or maybe for, you know, participating in uh, search or just, you know, deals, Right, or offering deals to search. So reach out to him. I'll put all the you know three links or the website anyway. The search will provide. I'll I'll link that up in the LinkedIn or if you're seeing it on YouTube, it'll be there in the YouTube when I post yep. it. So reach out to search through that, and then he can help you. Obviously, his YouTube channel will provide a lot more content. So um, yeah, I mean, if right now since the website's not up and going, and it probably won't be a minute, uh, you could just email me. Obviously, that'll probably be. Okay. The easiest way. Uh, so I'll just provide you with an email. Um, and yeah, that's probably be the easiest way for them to communicate and reach out. Awesome. All right. With that being said, now what inspires you to get up and do what you do? Because you started pretty young. So you're like still in this, like climbing up now. So obviously there's a lot of inspiration there, but what's the main inspiration, yeah. I guess? Uh, main inspiration really uh, is just being the best version of myself and leaving a legacy behind. 
that's kind of the main thing that really inspires me every single day is I know what can be done from seeing all the other people who I read about and who have inspired me. And if they can do it, why can I not do it? If one man can do it, mm -hmm. so can you. So I truly believe that that's all a, a matter of honing in all your energy and putting your focus on the right things. And that's what inspires me is legacy. Awesome. Really. Awesome. You. So, well, since you started pretty, you know, I know we talked about it, you're pretty, you know, he heavy into personal development. So <laughs> what's the one tip, you know, maybe the recent one that you have learned that has helped you that can help others, either personally or professionally? The one tip that's helped me recently in like from a, like me personally, uh, I would say the one thing that I've recently been doing a lot more of is giving. I think that's something that huh. is very important when it comes to being not only happier, but more fulfilled huh. and truly and truly like expanding your mindset. I don't think people, I think it's very underrated. I think giving, and not just from a financial standpoint, but resource standpoint, uh, content, whatever it is, right? Time, mm -hmm. resources, whatever it may be, uh, just giving. I think that's something that I've recently, I've been doing it financially, like tithing and that kind of stuff, because I'm a man of faith. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, just investing more in my relationships, investing more in uh, people, giving more advice having that abundance mindset and not having that scarcity mindset mm -hmm. and not having this lone wolf mindset that a lot of entrepreneurs kind of get trapped in, uh, which is understandable because you do come across people who take advantage mm -hmm. of the fact that you're generous and that you're giving, but you know, you also have to be good at reading people and making sure that you can cut those people out when you need to cut them out. So yeah, but giving, I would say that's probably the one tip uh, that I've seen not just recently, but from like previous things that I've done, like from giving and whatever, uh, it's all come full circle. And I truly believe in karma and truly believe that there is a, a higher power. For me, it's God um, that sees the things that you do and the things that you give and rewards you at the time when you need it most. And sometimes even when you're in an abundance, right? But I would say giving for sure. And then great being grateful, having an attitude of gratitude every day. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The, both, those are both, both great tips. You know, my, um, one of my philosophies that, you know, um, Zig Ziglar said it, um, the more you, uh, you know, give, uh, to, you know, give others what they want you, the more you get or something like that. I forgot now. I, I got to go. Look yeah. Up. I think it's on your profile. Yeah. Profile. No, I, I forgot it, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome tip, uh, Serge. So again, thanks for coming on the show and taking the time. And I'll be posting all the links or reach out to Serge. Like, as you can see, he's a giver and he'll take time to talk to you. So reach out to him. Maybe he could do some business now or in the future. Who knows? So yeah. thanks yeah. again, Serge. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.